Hey guys. And gals, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, Sunday afternoon, we're back at the corporate offices. What are we doing? Well, we're trying to get our pool in shape for uh, summer. We let it get away from us this winter. We're still having issues going back with uh, to the Texas winter storm last year and not having all the parts that we really need, but we're getting it back in shape. But one thing that we had a problem with was pool cleaners. My beautiful wife, CEO, CFO, helping me today. Well, one of the things was we had a robotic pool cleaner and that thing had died. We had lost it and we replaced it and got another one. We used to even have the old in ground Polaris unit with the hose with an auxiliary pump. All over time, the pump would go out. I bet we replaced two pumps over 20 years and uh, not to mention two Polaris robotics, but the robot would randomly go. It would never do a hundred percent job. So uh, then we went to a total robotic pool cleaner that did not require a pump and it would randomly go and it would last for a while, but they would die. Let me tell you, they're not cheap. So we went through two of those. So I was tired of spending money. So I decided I would go to a manual system. So now this little rig right here, I was on vacation and we were hanging around one of the swimming pool resorts. And I got up early, early one morning to drink coffee poolside and the guy was there cleaning the pool and he had a setup like this and I absolutely fell in love with it. So what it is, is it's a self-contained pool equipment system that basically we're using just to vacuum. So she's got a vacuum head on the pole, comes in here, runs through a two horsepower pump. And uh, so that'll skim the leaves and miscellaneous stuff. We have a 50 square foot cartridge filter, which is getting all of the trash and everything. The beautiful part of this, it's all self-contained. I took a uh, cart, an old uh, two wheel dolly, one of the convertible ones, made me a frame, used pocket hole screws, made me a rack to actually hold the hose. We got an on off switch right here, going to a GFCI circuit breaker over there. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty, pretty neat. And uh, she's only been doing this a couple of minutes and you can definitely see a difference in where she has vacuumed and where she has not vacuumed. So this is a quick way to get the pool in shape. The thing that we're also excited about is that if the regular pool equipment ever goes down for any reason, you can use this as a temporary setup. You don't have to have it just for the vacuum. I could actually use it for pool filtration if I need to, and it would in essence be a little temporary uh, setup. But hey, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, I think I'm into this thing for, I don't know, I'm gonna say I probably have $700 in parts maybe closing in on 800. Surprisingly, the wood was some of the most expensive stuff there. But uh, hey man, I, I'm pretty stoked about this. So here you go, homemade pool vacuum. The nice thing is it's on a cart, rolls very easily. So when we're finished for today, the hose will go here, the extension cord wraps around the handle, you undo this union, and there you go. It's ready to go in the door to the shop for safekeeping. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So we'll come back, we did the water test, we got all the chemicals we need to shock it and get it in shape. So hopefully here in a couple of days, we'll have this thing cleaned up. The beautiful thing is you shouldn't have to have it in the pool or use it very often. Maybe, uh, I don't know, every three or four days or something like that come out. It shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes to vacuum it. I mean, we looked at some pool services, but you know what? I'm not gonna pay $400, $300 a month for a pool service to come out and do something that uh, I can do in just a little bit of time. So that's what we're working on, guys. Swimming pool, homemade vacuum unit. Okay, here's a follow-up. So uh, just wanted to kind of show you what the pool looks like after we vacuumed it a couple of days. It's been two days since we started making this video and we first started using my homemade swimming pool cleaner. So just to recap, what did I do? Well, went out and purchased a two horsepower uh, in-ground swimming pool pump so that it would prime easily. We purchased a, uh, I think it's a 50 square foot canister cartridge filter to uh, get the uh, all the sand and miscellaneous debris out. 
You got a hose, made a cart, voila, there you go. So this is what the pool looks like. This is after we vacuumed it uh, for basically uh, three days in a row. And uh, we just spent, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes at a time, but you saw how bad the pool looked when we first started. At least all of it's out. We're in the process of getting the chemicals in check. So hopefully uh, here in another uh, two or three days, we'll have it balanced and she will be ready for the summer because let's face it, this weekend's gonna be in the 90s. So anyway, guys, hope you like this. Hope you find this video informative. Um, but hey, there's a lot of options on pool cleaners, robotics, all of the stuff. And let me tell you, this may not be the prettiest option out there, but it works and it works well. Hey guys, hope you like this. Leave me a comment. What do you guys use in your pool? Love to hear from you. And hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave us a comment. Love to hear from you. And as always, glory be to God.